Hello! In today's lesson, you will learn the many reasons why Americans in the 1800s chose to move west, expanding our country and growing it from sea to shining sea. Let's begin. Connection questions. Before we begin, I want to make I want you to make connections between what our lesson is about and your own experience. Here's some questions to keep in mind. Have you moved before? Do you know someone who has moved? T think through why you or they have had to move. What were the reasons that caused you or your family to need to move? Think about the 1800s. What would be some possible reasons for why people moved west? And in today's lesson, we will be answering that question. So grab your history notebook and prepare today's lesson and notes because you're going to copy down the main ideas which I have typed up in purple on the slides. I encourage you to draw purposeful doodles along with your notes to bring a visual image to mind as well. You can title today's notes, Westward Expansion, Why Move West? We will be answering that guiding question as we move forward. Well, the first reason why Americans chose to move west was population. And you can even put an exclamation point after population. In the 1800s, the population back east was exploding. Many people were feeling very crowded in their current place. So moving to the West was very appealing. It was very convincing to move out West. You can see this chart of the total U.S. population. Look at the growth between 1790 and the decade at the bottom, 1860. If you like math, go ahead and do a math problem, a subtraction problem, to find the difference between the population in 1790 and 1860. How much has the United States population grown in just those few decades? You can see this map. It shows kind of where the crowded areas were located in the 1800s. You can see a lot there in New England, in Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, little spots here and there that are overcrowded. And you can see as soon as you pass the Mississippi River, those red spots totally disappear and green, which means fewer than two people, begin appearing. So obviously moving west is a great option for people who feel crowded in their current cities and towns back east. All right, why move west? Two, land. Availability of cheap Fertile land was a huge motivating factor for Americans to move west. You can see this primary source. It's a poster advertising millions of acres in Iowa and Nebraska. And check out how low the prices are for this land. No wonder people were loading up their Conestoga wagons and going west. Cheap land was for sale, and they could make a lot of money by planting crops, harvesting those crops, and selling them. So here's some of the trails that they took out west, looking for that land, settling, so that they could find a way to make profitable money. Why move west again? Well, we just talked about it. Money! Economic opportunity, the ability to make more money, to make a larger income, to have a more stable salary. And a lot of that was through the idea of going to the West, which offered a lot of natural resources. Here's one, the gold rush. Back in California, <laughs> they found gold. And this was a huge, huge motivating factor to get people to pack up what they owned and to head out west to California and to find gold for themselves and make rich, make riches for themselves. That's why the 49ers are called such because in 1849, that's when gold was discovered and people loaded up to head to California for the California gold rush. Another natural resource that was providing economic opportunity was logging trees. 
there's a lot of forests out west and so people saw that if they logged trees and f and sold that timber they would make a lot of money and provide for their families monetarily so that's another economic opportunity Another reason, which we kind of talked about before, was farming, an, a huge economic opportunity for many people. And you can see that primary source photograph there is a family who moved out west, and they're currently living in a sod house. Their house is made of bricks made from dirt. So all of their walls are made out of dirt and manure. And this was something that a lot of families did when they were trying to start a home when they were homesteading. The Homestead Act of 1862 encouraged people to move west. All people, including freed slaves, began trekking out west so that they could find land to own and to farm so that they could make money from the crops that they sold and produced. A lot of times families would start out in these sod houses, but they would eventually uh, be able to buy timber or find timber to build a log cabin. But this was a home that many of them started out with. And the last economic opportunity was the freedom, the freedom for freed slaves. Out west, you're not going to find hardly any slave owners, so freed slaves slaves are heading out to the West. The West provided an opportunity to begin a new life, to start over. And we can see this map here kind of shows how the newly freed slaves migrated West and North to some of these bigger towns. After the Civil War and after slaves um, got their freedom, they started moving West. We're going to talk more about that later in our Civil War unit. Another reason, number four, to move west was transportation. You see, out west, it, it, there was really only one way to travel out west, and that was with a wagon, horses, or on foot. But as new inventions become available, more and more people find it easier to travel westward. One of those is the locomotive or the train. This provided a cheap and fast route to get out west that had never a been available for people before. Just check out the railroad growth, this map, between 1870 and 1890. A lot of those railroads had not existed before. And even the growth between 1870 and 1890 with the way that things are color coded there. Another invention was on the water, and this was the steamboat. And this provided um, fast and cheap transportation up and down the Mississippi River and other rivers that allowed people to use them as roads to get from one place to another. So why move west? Well, trails also begin to be blazed. After Lewis and Clark headed west for the first time, trails are being blazed and people are following these trails on a regular basis. They're um, getting knowledge to one another about these trails and sometimes they would even hire uh, wagon train leaders who were familiar with the trail to be able to lead a long train or a big group of Conestoga wagons and homesteaders out west to travel and to settle. You can check out this map again and the many trails that are being blazed in and through the west to get to key areas of exploration and settlement. Here's some kind of focused on the west but a lot of those trails kind of merge off or separate into other areas and you can see them going to the different states that are now that now make up the United States. Uh, the whole idea of following a trail and moving out west is what the premise of Little House on the Prairie is based on by Laura Ingalls Wilder and the famous series, if you've ever seen the TV series that's based on it, Moving West, Steading. So why did people move west? Last point here is the idea of manifest destiny. You can see those homesteaders trekking the trail. It would take them many weeks, in fact, several months. And the thought bubble there is, moving west is our right as Americans. 
This is an idea called manifest destiny. Manifest destiny is an idea that expansion was for the good of the country and was the right of the country. And people took this idea of manifest destiny and it was motivating them to pack up their belongings and head west for the good of America and the good of themselves. Moving west is good for the whole country as we expand and we grow. This is a famous painting called American Progress by John Gast and it takes the idea of manifest destiny and it puts it in a picture or painting form. And we're going to actually be looking at this um, painting in detail in one of the activities we have in class. But you can see many of the reasons why people moved west that we just covered are in this picture and are shown here. So the idea of manifest destiny is the idea that moving west was good for the whole country of the United States of America. Now if you liked this vi video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more flipped classroom lessons on American history.